What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings are. To your buddy, Big John and G from Two Gun Pixel Presents Legendary Gaming! <laughs> so, uh, woo! Sorry I did not get a chance to record and uh, drop the Tabletop Takeout Tuesday today, like I was hoping to. Uh, New York City, where I'm at, has had six days in a row of over 90 degrees and the last four the real feel has been over 100 including today 102 um I, you know i went out yesterday and i did the midday monologue and it wasn't to say it was uncomfortable is an understatement so i decided to wait until i got home uh to do it uh for today for the tabletop takeout tuesday and uh so here we are a little bit of a different setting i know it's usually outdoors but you know, hey, here we go, and this is the way we're gonna check it out. So, uh, the game I want to talk about, I have mentioned, uh, I've mentioned a few times they, it's come up, and I was actually texting about it today, and I realized, wow, why haven't I given this game a shout out for the tabletop takeout? And Thanos Rising. Now, this game took me by surprise. In a couple of senses. First of all, I had no idea this game was even coming out, that it was even going to be on the market. Uh, lo and behold, maybe about a month before it hit shelves, a month before the A3 dropped, actually, uh, I find out about this game. And I'm like, wow, that's out of left field. Um, I, I didn't have, I'll tell you the truth, I went into this, I, I didn't have high hopes for the game. I was, at best, I was hoping it would just be, uh, you know, a fun lark. You know, and, you know, it's caught up in the zeitgeist at the moment. Actually, isn't that redundant? <laughs> so it's caught up and, uh, and I love comic books and I always talk about how there's, how there's never really enough superhero games out there, which obviously, as you can see over the last couple of months, I've been wrong or people have been listening to me. Take your pick. But anyway, so. USopoly, as far as I'm concerned, me personally, it's a hit or miss with them as far as the games they come out with, whether I'm going to love them, like them, or just want to forget about them. Um, it really is hit or miss, which is another reason why this came out of left field, because me and the 20-sided Warriors, we ended up just loving this game so much. Uh, the multiple boards that it used is very, is very cool, very different. Um, I, I love the little things that come with it. Now, I mean, I've seen I've seen these exact same gems in other games. I have. So, I mean, that isn't super duper uh, exciting to me, but I do like stuff like this in games. I, I really do. But that's not what makes it a good game. It adds to the visual fun of it, the aesthetics to it and everything. I like the game because you're, first of all, besides being familiar, besides being superheroes, if you like Marvel, if you like the MCU, if you loved or, 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 or hated uh, Avengers 3, and you know what I mean because the way it ended, but even though it's been over a month or whatever, I'm still not going to give a spoiler. Uh, whether you love it or hate it, it means something to you. Uh, so if that's the case, it's another reason you're going to love this game. Um, but I, I like the fact that you're... That you're, uh, that's the bonus, uh, promo card. I like the fact that you're, you're playing a team. So each player is going to take one of these team cards. Mm, too much glare. There we go. A little bit better. So each player is going to take one of these team cards, uh, like Team Doctor Strange with the Sanctum Sanctorium. Uh, the one I just showed you there was Wakanda. Team Leader Black Panther. Nowhere. Team Leader Gamora. Right? And, uh, of course, Avengers, team leader, Captain America. Now, you notice each of these cards had a little bit of a different setup on the dice. If you noticed, a little bit of a different setup with all of them. Uh, also, they each have a different team ability down here. Now, the game is set up mainly on this board. This is where a lot of the activity is going to be happening. And you notice it's divided into three parts, and each of the three parts has one, two, 
three parts to it. So around these parts, you're gonna have randomly uh, dealt the cards. And the cards are gonna be, some of them are gonna be good guys and allies, like Vision, or Doctor Strange, who you would actually start with if you choose the Doctor Strange team, you would automatically start with him. Uh, the Statesman, uh, that's good. All the ships in this game are good because they help heal. Or let's find some bad guys. Or maybe the card is going to be one of Thanos' children. Woo, get that better? A little bit better. Camera Quake! So it could be one of Thanos' children or one of his, one of his minions. And so you're not going to know each time you play the game how it's going to unfold. So what you have to do is you... I, I love the, the back and forth strategy. Early in the game, it seems best to concentrate on on trying to, what they call recruit heroes. So you gotta send your guy to that sector of space, and like if I wanted Hulk, I would need seven power. I would need to roll the dice, you get a total of seven power, and then I recruit him. So what's cool about recruiting the heroes is they each are gonna help your team out. They're each gonna give your team another benefit. Maybe a way to change a die roll, maybe a way to give you an extra die, maybe to heal someone. Uh, and that's gonna be really important because when you're when you're trying to when you're trying to take these guys out, it's not easy. But what's even tougher is the fact that See the hole? See that hole in the middle? In the center of that board... <laughs> yeah, the game came with this. Is Thanos. Nice big statue of Thanos. And whatever direction he's facing in gets attacked. So any, any heroes that are in that sector or any teams that are in that sector are all going to take damage. And that's bad. Uh, the villains all cause damage. If they get activated, they cause damage to everyone... Uh, in their sector, and that's bad because in the game, if you if you lose ten heroes, regardless of whether they are on your team or <laughs> whether they are still out here and have yet to be recruited, if you lose ten, game over, game over. If by the end of your turn, everyone on your team is dead, including your team leader, and there's nothing but this card. Right there, you don't have any character cards there. They're all gone. They're all dead. There is nothing. Players lose. Now, there's another way the players lose. There's another way because there's another board. Remember those little crystals that I showed you? Well, this is the other board. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, if you could tell, if you could take a look there, these are grooved in. And as he acquires these stones, you're actually gonna you're actually gonna put them on the board. Visually, very cool. However, what I like is during the game, he's trying to collect these. At the beginning of your turn, you're rolling a Thanos die and you're rolling an Infinity die. And the Infinity die tells you where his interest lies. That he's trying to get one of these stones. And if you also notice, there's a reason why there's these sections right here, because you're gonna put these cool little stone holders right here. Yeah. Boom. Now, when he's trying to acquire them, when he's trying to acquire them, these little yellow cubes are going to go on each of these five spots. And when all five of these spots, he gets that stone. And you would move the stone from this card, right? From that card, you would move it over to here. And then that's when things get bad. So remember I was saying early on in the game, you're going to want to try to recruit. Well, you, you have to really challenge yourself and push yourself to the line in this game because you have to determine when you have to start attacking because if if you're not taking these guys out and you got to take out seven of them on an easy game 10 on a hard game uh before you can win so the longer you leave them outside they are doing more damage here because you can't do anything to Thanos. You can't do anything. He's, he's a force of nature in this game. And that creates this really great balance. And that, I think, more than anything else, is what me and the 20-sided warriors have been in loving about this game so much. It's a cooperative game. It's a good game for families, to tell you the truth. You can sit down with your kids. You can sit down with your nerdy parents. And you're going to have fun with this game. 
Uh, you could play this with your hardcore gaming fans, friends, uh, comrades. Um, I mean, it may not be the go-to game that they're going to want to play all the time, but I think uh, this style of, of push your luck, Yahtzee style dice rolling uh, th and the way different powers affect the dice and everything, I think that that's more than enjoyable for them to, to have a great time. Uh, this game may not be the game you're always going to want on your shelf or at least always on your table. Maybe not. But if you're a Marvel fan and a board gaming fan, that's probably going to change. You're probably going to want to try to play this more often. I love this game. The 20-Sided Warriors have been having so much fun with this game. I really wanted to let everyone know about it. Uh, so Thanos Rising, Avengers Infinity War. This is my pick for this week's Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. So again, everyone, I'm sorry that this week's episode was late and... Uh, we're not in our beautiful outdoor setting, but like I said, New York City is boiling. It's still boiling, actually. But uh, hopefully next week things will be a little bit better and you'll see me outside. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you so much for checking us out on Facebook. Thank you for all the interaction on Twitter. Uh, Two Gun Pixies really been blowing up on Twitter, and that's because of all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling your friends about us, for sharing the videos, for liking it, for the comments you give us here. It really keeps us going. So everybody, I'm your buddy Big Johnny G from Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, as you know, unfortunately for now, I am out of here.